Today we're going to go over the basics of setting up a worm compost system. Um, we can use something as simple as this cheap plastic tub, widely available. Uh, you may even have one that you can uh, use that you're not using for anything else. Or you could use uh, something like a worm in. Um, this is a neat compost system and I'll uh, make a video of how to set one of these up in the future. But for today we're going to go over um, setting a compost system up in a bin like this. Alright, here's the basic, uh, some of the basic stuff we use for bedding. We have some old uh, egg crates, we've got some cardboard which has been shredded up, uh, we've got some old office paper here that we can use, um, we have some old uh, potting soil or uh, peat moss. It's best to use uh, old potting soil for this as it has less, the fertilizer has already been leached out if it's used. Okay. Alright, for the egg crates, we're just going to tear these up into small little bits and uh, the worms will finish it from there. Now for the office paper, you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to tear it into uh, small little pieces and uh, the worms will finish it off. They don't have to be real small or consistent. The main thing is just to break it up into smaller little bits. And for the cardboard, I cheated, and uh, I've got a machine which uh, shreds it up into this nice little uh, fine stuff for me. We use this for bedding here um, a lot, and we also use it as a ship fill to uh, ship the worms with. It, it's a wonderful insulator and keeps the worms cool or warm during transit, whichever it needs to be for the season. Okay, and now we have our materials here shredded up and ready to go into our worm bin. We have our egg crates. We have our uh, shredded up office paper and some cardboard. If you had some other stuff you could use like shredded newspaper that would work uh, well also. And here in our plastic tub we've already placed our cardboard. Um, I'm also going to add to that the uh, shredded uh, office paper um, and the uh, egg crates as well. And also I want to throw in some peat moss too. This is uh, used um, uh, potting soil, but it contains mostly peat moss, which some worms happen to love. And now we're just going to take this and we're going to kind of stir it up a little bit. But we're not too worried about it because we still have to add water. Okay, and also to help get everything off to a quicker start, this isn't necessary, but it does seem to help. Um, I have a bag of worm starter which is just uh, the uh, bedding substrate and uh, some worms and some eggs from one of our bins. Um, if you add it into it and uh, mix it up, uh, you see there's actually a good many worms in this one, but uh, there's a good many eggs too, which would be hard to see on camera. But um, there's an egg right there. Um, and uh, we're just gonna mix this up into there real good. And now we're going to add water. Um, we want it so that we can squeeze a few drops of water out of it. Now I'm not talking about like a death grip squeeze. I'm just going to light squeeze and one or two drops of water come out of it when we're done. You're going to find the top's going to get wet real quick when you're watering it. But the bottom will still be dry so you'll have to stir it up a few times. And uh, we're using just the cheap plastic tub here which works fine except for it doesn't have um, all the holes for aeration like a commercial unit would which is okay we just don't want it very deep um, it is going to have to be a little bit shallower that is the bedding we don't want it like this full or air would never reach the bottom but as long as we keep it shallower and uh, add just a little bit of food at a time we'll be okay and now here we have our bag of worms, which we're going to add to the uh, composter. This is our this is our motor, our engine of the composter, so to speak. And all we're going to do is we're going to take the bag of worms and we're just going to set it out on top. And uh, they will work themselves down uh, without us covering them up or anything. And this is about a minute and a half after we put them in there. You can see they're already starting to bury themselves down. Um, they, uh, they move into the substrate really quick. 
Um, now that we got our worm set up in there, uh, we're not going to add any, I, I wouldn't suggest adding any food to it for a couple of days. Um, I will make another video here shortly on what to feed them and how much to feed them and how and all that sort of stuff. But uh, they'll eat this cardboard and stuff for a couple of days and uh, be just happy with that. And after the worms have worked themselves down, I would leave the lid off for uh, at least a few hours uh, with a light on them. That way they can orientate themselves. But uh, after that time, you can put a lid on it. It'll help keep it more moist, more moist and, and whatnot. And we just drilled a few holes in our lids and uh, to let air circulate. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it.